Hello there, I'm Felicity Barr with the headlines on Al Jazeera. It has been a day of violence in Pakistan where more than 80 people were killed in multiple blasts. Al Jazeera's Kamal Haider has more from Islamabad. Well, the first attack that took place in the busy square in the market area in the afternoon, the Baluch Liberation Army called the local press offices and claimed responsibility for the attack. But the second attack, which uh, was the back-to-back -back bombings on Alamdar Road, was against the Shia community, a banned militant outfit, the lashkar e jangwi taking responsibility for that. One of the co-founders of the Kurdish separatist movement, the PKK, has been shot dead in Paris. Zakim Kansiz was murdered inside the Kurdish Information Center along with two other women. Their bodies were found in the early hours of the morning. A pro-government rally is underway in Venezuela after the Supreme Court ruled that the inauguration of Hugo Chavez could be postponed. The president is recovering from cancer surgery in Cuba, but there are growing concerns about his health. Lucia Newman has more from Caracas. The last bulletin that was issued by the government about the president's health was on Monday, and it said that he was stationary. That means that he's not clearly getting better. Not getting worse, but not getting better. And with every day that passes, of course, their concern uh, grows, and the opposition continues to pressure for more independent confirmation about exactly what is the president's state of health in Cuba. And don't forget, you can always watch Al Jazeera online. You do it by going to our website, aljazeera.com, and clicking on the Watch Now icon. Those are the headlines. I'm Felicity Barr. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.